Okay, hello. We are here looking at Carla 911 again. And this time we are underneath a custom world that was generated from OpenStreetMap data, similar to what has been shown before. So we'll fly you know, through the surface of the road or terrain and turn back around and look at what we have. You'll notice you know, we still have pretty simple buildings, but in general the, the world is much more complex than before and if and it's larger and if you um, start over here you might recognize this is the right here that I'm flying towards in the center is the library on Tennessee Tech campus and as we move over to the left this is the engineering quad and this is our brand new laboratory sciences building complex it's a big lawn and over here is the old dorms and the nursing building. So if we kind of fly over here above the nursing building, you could imagine this is the uh, kind of view from above campus looking north. Okay, so what we'll do is come down a little closer and come to one of these major intersections and add some NPCs so we can see how the roads behave. While we're waiting on those, I'll point out that this is Dairyberry Hall here. Here's the um, little turnaround or visitor parking lot that you would, you know, use to get kind of from one side of campus to the other. So you have a, a cyclist here and a few vehicles. This person seems a little bit lost. And you can see they are trying to, you know, stay between the lines. And um, they have some planned destination that is pre-programmed. So right now, um, there's still no traffic indicators that's uh, coming, but what is a new update in this video is the terrain. So it's not terribly exciting terrain here on campus, but you will notice as you come here <clears throat> by Dairyberry, you come up a little bit of a hill as these cars are doing so, and come back around and you know, go down a little bit of hill as you go between those two buildings. and. Here we've kind of made it over to the College of Engineering side of things, and here is a Lewis Hall right in front of us. And just wanted to point out that this terrain is uh, or has been generated from aerial lidar. And we're kind of fortunate here in Tennessee to have relatively high resolution aerial lidar uh, available to the public. So um, before we go, we will put in a, a user controlled or manual controlled vehicle. Oop, looks like we got a little Nissan. I think I'm going to change vehicles to an Audi. That sounds like a little more fun. Send it on a little autopilot mission and say thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates.